Here we go folks, it's time for another starting 11 prediction, this time for tomorrow's 5th round Scottish Cup tie away against Clyde. We're going for our 33rd Cup victory in a row, that's incredible. 32 wins, this, this run we've been on in all of the Cup competitions is absolutely remarkable. Off the back is uh, Wednesday's 4-0 win at Fur Park where I thought second half particularly we were absolutely brilliant. Edward and McGregor obviously we talked about them at length in the post-match content. Two of them were absolutely brilliant, a cut above everybody else on the pitch. Now we're back to domestic cup duty tomorrow. Um, hopefully, it will only be a repeat the last time we played Clyde, which I'm fed up hearing people talk about this week. Um, keep seeing it on Twitter, everybody sharing it. Um, hopefully there'll be none of that professional approach. I do expect Neil Lent to change the team, but your guess is as good as mine with this team. This is as much the team that I would like to see play as the team that I think Neil Lennon will play because I've got no idea of the team Neil Lennon's going to play. He said he's going to make changes, not wholesale changes, but I would expect maybe five or six. He's nodded to the fact that the boys who have been out for a while, like Christie and El Yunusi, um, it's a good opportunity for them at game time, so I would expect them to play. Here we go, we'll start in goals. Um, I thought he would change the goalkeeper against Partick Thistle in the last round and he didn't. So I'm going to say Fraser Foster will play in goals. I totally wouldn't be surprised to see Gordon or Bain come in. So I'll go Foster. I'm going to go with a four. Uh, I think because Christy and El Yunusi need game time, I think we'll go back to 4-2-3-1. I think that will give us opportunity to rest some big players further up the pitch. So right back, Moritz Bauer. He's the only fit right back that we've got at the moment. He hasn't played since he came off the bench at McDermott Park a couple of weeks ago where he was really poor. But I do expect Neil Lennon to give him some game time tomorrow at right back. And at the centre of the defence, again, I might have expected some more changes than we've seen against Partick Thistle. Obviously, Neil Beaton started that game. He had to come off early on. Jozo Simunovic came on. Jozo played the other night. Done all right in, in, in spells. I thought he was, he was actually good in some spells, but um, not so good in ours. I think that relationship between him and Forrest, where Forrest has to do a lot of defending, needs a bit of work. But this is a plastic pitch, so I don't expect Simunovic to play at all. So one of Julian and Ayer is going to sit out. I'm going to say it's Ayer. Uh, I think Julian will play, and I'm going to put Stephen Welsh alongside him. Again, this is just a stab in the dark. Stephen Welsh came in against Hamilton last week, and I thought he'd done really well. So this is another good opportunity to give him another experience of first-team uh, football. So Julian alongside Welsh, left-back. I expect Ball and Golly to come back in. He's one of those players who has been out since the winter break because of his bad performance. He's basically, Neil Lennon said, he's been out to recapture his form. He's just been out of squads. He was back uh, on the bench during the week, I think. Taylor's done well. I thought Taylor was, was pretty good the other night again. But I do expect this to be a good opportunity to give Ball and Golly uh, an introduction back into the starting 11. And we'll see how he does. I would expect Taylor to return to the team for Hearts on Wednesday night. But... I think Ball and Golly will start tomorrow. In the midfield, um, Scott Brown, I think he's going to sit out. We know that he's played so much, I think it's 42 games or something he's played. We're only in February. Um, that's a good opportunity to rest him. So I think in midfield, we'll see Callum McGregor play alongside Ryan Christie. Um, McGregor in that deeper position, almost taking up Brown's role. As I said at the start of the video, he was absolutely superb the other night. What a player he is. Christie alongside him. In front of them, I'm going to put Tom Rogic in. I managed to get 10 out of 11 again uh, on Wednesday with the, the start 11 because I put Chris in instead of in Cham and Cham continued. I wouldn't be surprised to see Cham tomorrow either, but I just think this midfield um, gives the opportunity for Christy and Vogic to get game time again. Christy obviously um, was injured and after the winter break and had that little suspension as well. Vogic hasn't seen a lot of football at all. I think twice actually, he's came off the bench the past two games and both times I've seen different people on Twitter say, did you notice that he just went straight up the tunnel, didn't he stay out to celebrate with the team? So that's probably an indication he's not happy with the amount of game time he's getting. So I'm going to put him in the 10 position in front of McGregor and Christie. It could be in Cham and Christie, but all gets in front of them. I just think McGregor, in great form, we know that he's got the fitness and the, the stamina to play a high volume of games. And I think he'll be one that one of the regular starters that does play in this game as well. On the right-hand side, James Forrest, another one of the regular starters who I think probably will continue. Um, I would like to see Arzani, I would like to see Shved, but I just don't think we will see it. I've, I've talked about both of them since the winter break. 
when we thought there might have been uh, opportunities to introduce them into the team. Arzani did come off the bench against Partick Thistle, but Sved looks like an absolute outcast at, at this point. Neil Lennon said last week he's really struggling to adapt, to learn the language, um, struggling in training, so I just don't expect to see him. So we'll go Forrest on the right-hand side. Back in the team after three, what must be three months out is Mohamed El Yunusi. If you discount the cup final, obviously, he was rushed back in the cup final. He wasn't ready for it. He hooked to half time. We know that. Um, it worsened his injury, which is why he's been out for such a long spell. And it's been disappointing to lose him, given that we've only got him for a, a season long loan, as it stands. He's a huge player for us. I think he'll come back in. It'll be great to see him back. He can make a huge, huge impact for us in this run in. Um, good opportunity for him to get game time back in his legs. And I think we'll see him gradually reintroduced back into the team in the coming weeks. That will give Neil Lennon a headache though because we've been playing well in the 3-5-2, particularly going forward. We look like we can outscore anybody even if we've not got it nailed on at the back yet. I think going forward we look absolutely brilliant in that formation. So that's going to be a headache for Neil Lennon because El Yunusi back means that to put El Yunusi in the team he'll probably have to go back to 4-2-3-1. I don't think I know El Yunusi is versatile and he can play anywhere along the, the, the front line. I think he likes to play from wide. So, interesting to see what happens with formation. Well, you know, say back fit, and once he gets back to 100% sharpness, will that mean that we go back to seeing 4 2 3 1 more regularly? Or will Neil Lynn stick with the 3 5 2? That's something we're going to have to wait and see. Up front, I think we might see a full debut for Patrick Clamalla from the start. This is an opportunity to invest Odson Edward, who again was absolutely top draw on Wednesday night. Griffiths as well, who's played a lot of football. If Neil End does go with 3-5-2 in this game, I would expect Griffiths to start alongside Klamala. But I think Klamala will play, if this is going to be the formation, he'll start and it'll be good to see him. Um, we can't judge him yet. He got another few minutes on Wednesday night. You can see he's snatching at things. He's eager to impress, a little too eager. Um, he had that, he had that chance played into him in the box and he, it was all too rushed. He took a touch and he just blazed it wide. Um, be good to see him from the start and then we can start to judge him find out what type of player he is, what his strengths are, what his weaknesses are, um, and then judge whether he's going to be a feature in, in the, the running. That's the team I've went with. As I say, I've absolutely no chance of getting it right. Uh, like the video, comment with your own teams below. Who do you think will start? Who would you like to see start? How many changes do you think we'll make? And please don't forget to click subscribe below if you haven't already. We're approaching 22,000. Um, that'll be another wee milestone to tick over. And we'll see you tomorrow after the game for all the full-time reaction and the post-match pint from Malone. Thank you.